how to grow quality cabbages that are of quality and attract market. And on this guide, we are going to focus from how you can grow them from land preparation to harvesting. The main aim is to see farmers make money from their farming. Remember, you can access this full guide and others on our website. Just click the link on the bio. Here is what we shall cover on the guide. 1. Market analysis. 2. The best cabbage variety that you can plant. 3. How to raise good seedlings. 4. Land preparation. 5. Transplanting. 6. Fertilizer application. Disease and pest management. And finally, cost profit analysis of cabbage farming per acre. The first thing as a farmer you should do is to carry out a market research. The market research is just to establish when the prices are high, which variety do farmers love, what size do they require. So this one will tell you the best variety to plant and also it will tell you when to plant and it is usually when the prices are the worst. What pushes the prices down is often high cabbage supply in the market. So you as a farmer, if you manage to plant when the prices are lowest, it means you will be harvesting when the prices are high and there is a little supply. That's the secret. The best cabbage variety that you should plant is one that has high tolerance to diseases wide market accept acceptability, it has high yield, and also it will give you some good money. Remember, you have to plant what the market needs so that you can fetch good prices. Not what you think is okay, no, what the market wants. The best cabbage variety that I usually recommend to farmers is Kiboko F1 from Utra Vetis. Kiboko F1 has good tolerance to black rot, splitting, and it keeps long after harvesting. Imagine one head can weigh up to 6 to 8 kilograms, but this one depends on management. And you can manage to harvest it within 80 to 90 days. It's just the best in the market. After identifying the best variety, you jump right away on preparing your seed and nursery. Now, how well you prepare it will determine the quality of seedlings that you get. You must at least keep it one meter width to, for ease of weeding and watering. It must be well plowed with a lot of manure to ensure good growth. Make shallow fallows a distance of one finger finger length then you sow your seeds and cover them lightly with soil then you ensure that you water it regularly but not too much neither too little to avoid dumping off if there is some presence of cutworms it is recommended that you can dredge with some insecticides such as mulch to eliminate them Cabbage seeds takes between 4 and 6 days to germinate. To fasten this process, you can cover them with mulch. Always go for those seeds with high germination rate of over 98%. Germination rate means the ability or the chances that those seeds will germinate. So the higher the germination rate, the bigger the number or population of seeds you will get from your seed bed. After four weeks, this is how now your seedlings will look like. Good seed bed management offers quality seedlings at high germination rate. Remember, if you manage the, your seed bed badly, like if you don't uh, weed them, you don't water them uh, well, you will get low population. And you also get weak seedlings. So good management equals quality seedlings. If you as a farmer, you feel like you cannot manage to raise good seedlings at your farm, 
there is always an option to outsource already laid seedlings from plant lasers. These seedlings come grown. What you just have to do is to pay a booking, then you order and collect. Simple as that. Well grown, well managed, simple as that. Before ordering your cabbage seedlings, consider if your plant or seedling laser is reliable enough. By reliable we mean, will he provide the required population and will he provide the required variety? There are many cases where farmers have ordered cabbage seedlings maybe for kiboko and the seedling laser ended, ends up providing for them uh, seedlings for another cabbage variety. As you wait for the seedlings to grow, the four weeks period is good enough to, for you to prepare your land and install a reliable irrigation system. A reliable irrigation system will ensure you have water all throughout. After four weeks, your seedlings are ready and your farm is ready. It's now time to transplant. Make holes on a spacing of 60 by 50 centimeters. The wider the spacing, the bigger the cabbages that you will get. The smaller the spacing, the smaller cabbages that you will get. So make well deep hole, add like two 2 kg tins in each hole of manure. Then drench with confidence to kill any worms and transplant. After seven to 10 days, the cabbage seedlings will have developed good root hairs at the base. This will enable it to absorb the required nutrients such as nitrogen and phosphorus from the fertilizers. Therefore, we recommend you as a farmer to top dress at this point. Top dressing during transplanted day may not help the plant since it may be not able to absorb the required nutrients. When selecting the fertilizers to use, always go for the high quality fertilizer. Yes, I mean the high quality fertilizer because we've seen cases where there are a lot of undertraded fertilizers in the market which are expensive and when farmers buy them, they don't even work. Leave those all organic G fertilizers, all those, no, just go for the basic DAP, diammonium or phosphate from either Yala, the BT, or a company you trust. The reason why we usually recommend the first top dressing to be done with DAP is to enhance faster growth of the plant. Remember, DAP has phosphorus and nitrogen. Phosphorus enhances root growth and development, while nitrogen facilitates or enhances foliar development and growth. That's, uh, those are the leaves and stems. When top dressing, ensure the fertilizer does not come into contact with the stem and the leaves to avoid scorching the plant. After one month, your cabbages should look bigger and better than this. Remember to always keep your farm clean and keep scouting for DBM. DBM usually make holes on the, on the leaves of the cabbages. Early scouting will ensure you prevent it early. If you detect it late, it may be stressful to you. I also, at this first month, you can spray a foliar vegetative such as Osho vegetative to enhance leaf growth and development. At day 45, you can top dress with 50 grams of NPK triple 17. This will just boost the crop growth. NPK triple 17 has a well balanced ratio of both nitrogen, phosphorus, and the potassium. Remember also, when you're top dressing, the fertilizer should not come into contact with the stem or the leaves. Otherwise, they will scorch them and you lose your crop. Always keep your farm clean of weeds. Weeds increase competition and are host to pests. Pests such as DBM which infest the leaves of cabbages. Manual weeding is the most recommended method of weeding. Though there are others that you can use such as selective herbicides. But remember you may use them wrongly and they end up harming your cabbages. So for us we usually recommend the manual weeding all the time. At the beginning of the third month, head formation and enlargement begins. Now, to fasten this process, the farmer is always advised to top dress with CAN, at least 50 grams per head. In an acre, we usually recommend that you can do between 100 and 150 kilograms 
per acre. And this one applies for the first top dressing, the second top dressing. I said 100 to 150 kilograms per acre. Water is most important in cabbage farming. Remember, even you are doing the fertilizer application, you should always apply fertilizers when the soil is moist, not dry. Also remember, at the fed formation stage, cabbages require as much water as possible. The more the water, the bigger the cabbages in terms of head size and weight. Water stress will often lead to small sized cabbages with little weight. Pest control is also important in cabbage farming. For commercial farmers, we usually recommend them to use chemicals. But for kitchen gardens, you can try to use organic method. DBM and catworms are the common pests in cabbage farming. DBM usually makes some holes on the cabbages, and if not controlled early, it may be such a hectic to the farmer. Actually, if it develops to the flying stage, it becomes very, very hard to control. So farmers should always try to control it at the egg or pupa stage. Emalon 30SC from Kenagro Supplies is the best insecticide that you can use in controlling both catworms and DBM. Remember, like we said, the application should begin early. And as early we mean from the third week from transplanting. For those who request organic method, you can use a mixture of uh, neem oil, pepper, and ginger and try to spray. It works. Black rot is the most destructive disease in cabbage farming. It starts like a yellowish at the margins, and if it persists, the cabbage starts to rot from the root. Once affected, this cabbage cannot be sold, and it's a total, total loss to the farmer. The best way is just identifying it early and controlling it early. Otherwise, also planting tolerance variety will help. Signs of black rot include yellowing at the leaf edge, which turns into characteristic V-shaped lessons. As symptoms progress, plants can develop blackened vascular tissues and head lot. Plants can be affected at any stage of maturity. Yes, so there is no stage it cannot affect. Preventive spraying with fungulan from amilan can help prevent black lot. Also, once affected, you can spray the fungulan and it can prevent the spreading and damage on the cabbages. Before applying any of the recommended chemicals, ensure that you read the instructions very well. Also, it is advisable you follow the recommended application rates. This cabbage farming guideline and others are available at our website, farmworks.co.ke. Remember also to follow us, to like, and to subscribe. And remember to share this so that we can empower as many farmers as possible.